Hi guys and welcome back to another Flex episode. My name is Jeanette Dierkaert and today we will be just we will just be focusing on the basics now. Yup, though, yup, the basics, sorry about that, would be your lunges, your squats, your push-ups, you know, just very basic stuff. And then we're gonna add a few weight, or we're gonna add weights as well. So you can go for two kg, that's what I'm gonna go for. Or you can go for a heavier weight like three, four or five. But I would say just keep it at five because we're going to try and have it to make it a cardio workout with some strength training in between. So do stay tuned for that and I will see you after the short break for the warm up. All right, guys, now we're back at it. Now, as I said, we are gonna do the basics of workouts. So today, we're gonna start off with a lunge, all right? So, but we're gonna amp up the workout and we're gonna add a jump, you know, when we do the workout. So we're gonna do a more modified version in the warm warmup um, of the workout. So guys, so we are gonna go down with a lunge and you're gonna touch and come back up, okay? So I want you to go down and touch your hands to the floor so it's basically like a step forward and not necessarily a lunge but we're doing a forward lunge in this one and i want you to go down like you're getting ready to run okay so just touch it down you can take it slow and just remember these modifications or these movements because if we'll be doing a lunge a jump lunge then what you will be doing is a modification, okay? So now we're gonna go down into a squat. Very basic, as I said, squat up, down and up, okay? So constantly, guys, I don't want you to necessarily squeeze as you come up. You wanna go down, come up, but you want to keep your um, abs engaged the whole time. Also keep your glutes engaged as well. That does not mean squeezing it as you come up. Be mindful of your form, keep your back straight, because naturally, if you go down, your shoulders will lean a bit forward, but there, there is a difference in a natural forward lean and an over lean, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a side lunge, guys. We're gonna focus a lot on our legs today, and then we're also gonna bring up our heart rate a bit. So I am focusing on the perimeters of my mat and I'm not going further than that. And that is what makes home workouts amazing because you can literally, you literally only need a space like this, a space as wide as your mat to do a workout, okay? And guys, I want you to start warming up a bit. So you wanna go on the tippy toes, on the balls of your feet, and you just want to ride on the balls of your feet up and down the whole time. Try and engage your glutes, engage your hammies, engage everything. And most importantly, engage your calf muscles, okay? So you're just gonna um, jog it out a bit. Not a jog, this is not a jog. You're just gonna move a bit, you know? Move your legs, move on the balls of your feet, and then we're gonna bring it up a bit. Okay, so a slight, we're gonna do a very slight high knees, but this can be seen as a jog as well, guys. So you can just slightly move, slightly bring up your legs. You don't have to bring it up too much if you don't want to. What you can do is just jog in place as well. All right, and then I said basics. So right after this, we're gonna do a minute of um, jumping jacks. A minute of it and then we are gonna do everything over again so constantly keep your abs engaged while you're doing this okay you don't want to have a bad form and the key to a good form is actually to have your abs engaged the whole time so if you're struggling with bad posture working on your abs and you know, constantly engaging it can be a great way to start. Okay, so a minute guys, we are not done with these jumping jacks. And jumping jacks are amazing because it warms up your whole body. It warms up your legs 
and every part of your legs, I might add as well. And you're warming up your arms. You're warming up that abs. Okay, 10 seconds left. So remember guys, keep your abs engaged. You want to have your body straight while you're doing this. There we go, that was so awesome. So now we're gonna do a warm up for our abs again. We're gonna go down a bit, so I'm taking it slow again, and you're just gonna bring it up. Okay, so if we're gonna do mountain climbers in the workout, you will be doing this. Remember, this is not what I'm saying you have to do. Bring that back down, bring that butt down. Try and keep everything in a straight line and bring it up. Bring your knee to your chest. And for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome stuff. So that is the workout, the warm up for today. And guys, I will see you all in the workout. guys so we're back for the workout so let's just quickly stretch our backs and let's get right into it so i want you to come up if you remember the workout or the warm-up that we started with we started off with some lunges now we are going to jump into some jump lunges those are the worst i hate them a lot but nevertheless we're going to do them okay so we're going to start off and we're going to go down okay so what i'm doing here it's just moving and jumping. So as you come up, you want to engage your legs. As you jump up, you want to engage everything. Okay, keep your hands stable. Don't move around too much. The modification, my friends, just step forward and let's go. Okay, four, three, two, and one. Awesome stuff. Again, jump lunges are the worst, but they are the best. We did the squats right after that. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna pulse. We're gonna come up, okay? Remember what I said, abs engage, pulse, and up. And let's pulse and come up. This one is a lot slower. We started very intense, but we're taking it a bit slow again, and up. Eight seconds up. Remember, keep everything engaged too. And last one. There we go. Awesome stuff. Now we're going to move to the side. And we're going to go to the side. Let me just start. And we're going to just jump a bit. Okay. So as you go down, jump to the middle, lunge to the side, and tap it. So obviously you can go faster this one as well. You can increase the speed. Let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. Awesome stuff, guys. So now the next movement is gonna happen on the floor. All right, so guys, push-ups, the basics. I said we're going back to the basics. Modification for push-ups. Okay, what I want you to do, if you can't do a modified push-up at all, you have to go down. Then you're gonna press yourself up and you're gonna come down again. Okay, I hope you guys saw that. So you're down, press up. There we go, that is your modified version. And then obviously for the rest, I'll be doing the modification of the advanced push-up 
and I'm gonna go down, okay? So let's do that. Modification, remember, if you need a modified, modified version, that's okay. All right, let's go up and go down, but also decide which stance you want, not stance, but how wide you want your arms. If you can't go narrow, then you can do it wide. Five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. Awesome stuff, guys. And now we're going to do some ab work. Again, we're going to start off with a mountain climber. Mountain climber, modification is to bring in those legs. But to be quite frank, that is actually not too modified as well. It's difficult. But let's continue with this one. Okay, there we have it. So bring it in and continue. You can take it slower. You can stop if you need to, breathe a bit, and then start all over again. 15 seconds left. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome stuff. So we're going to take it back to the mat. We're not going to stand up quite yet. We're going to lie down. Okay. So you have your back against the floor. And I want you to bring it up one vertebrae at a time. So you're going to bring up and hold it there. Okay. So there we go. Squeeze that glute as you come up and feel your vertebrae in your back come up and down. All right, so you want to be very mindful of this. Bring it up and go down again. Okay, let's just see. We have five seconds left to clock, guys. Bring it up and down. There we go. And now we're going to hold that pose, hold the bridge pose, and just going to hold it. Now with this one, you don't need a lot of modification because it's not too bad. Technically, holding your bridge pose, pose like this is the modification. You can only improve or increase the difficulty of this move or of this pose. Okay, so um, constantly engage your abs. Five, two, and one. There we go, guys. Awesome stuff. Now what I want you to do is we're going to work on that abs again. I want you to bring it in and bring it in and down. Okay. So you're going to do this crunch. We're going to come up completely and down again. Okay. So if you ever want to um, get amazing uh, ab strength, there's a lot of poses that you can do. So you can bring it in and hold. But for the difficulty of this, you will have to have your legs parallel to the ground or you bring it down a bit. Okay, let's crunch, bring it in and down again. Okay, one last time, let's go. Crunch it up and down again. Let's quickly work on our oblique muscles, guys. So you have your legs hip width apart or slightly more than hip width apart. You're gonna bring up your shoulders, try and relax your neck if that is possible, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna just touch your, um, yeah, you wanna touch your ankles as you go down and bring it up, okay? So let me just show you there. That is what you're gonna do. That is what you're going to do for the workout. Okay, really try and crunch into the sides just to have that oblique muscles working properly. All right, and how many seconds? 15 seconds. Keep it there, twist to the sides. Let's go, let's go, you got this. Okay, and five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome stuff. That was great, guys. So now, we are gonna go to the side and I'm gonna 
um, show you how to do another tricep push-up okay so you have your one arm supporting you and your other arm you're gonna bring it you're gonna hold your side and you're gonna go down okay awesome workout awesome way to do a tricep dip or oh, it's not really a tricep dip it's like a side push-up so I need you to keep it in and go down okay so you can see how low you can go and how long you can do it so that is the movement there is no modification if you can only do two then you just do two you don't have to force yourself to constantly work the whole 30 seconds so that's the modification guys and let's quickly switch to the other side okay and down we go there we go so just move down and up okay so you really want to keep everything tight you know keep your body straight you can have your legs folded or if you need the extra support with your leg go right ahead and we're gonna go down with this one five four three two and one up we go so you can constantly move your arms until you're comfortable enough and then you just do that movement all right so now we're going to stand up again and we're going to bring our heart rate up because we literally you know although we worked we did bring it down a lot but let's just do a few movements and then we're going to go straight to the cool down okay so guys what i want you to do is to just tap to the side but the idea is to keep your foot pointed keep that toes pointed as you go so you want to have your legs or your feet you want to open it up and you just want to tap it out okay for 15 seconds let's go and that's working on your calf muscles guys so let's work on our calf muscles four three two and one there we go and now what i want you to do move to the side and touch the ground so again bringing up your heart rate okay one two down one two down so i want you to go down not into a side lunge let's go so this is just to bring up your heart rate again okay so you want a proper form with this one and 10 seconds left seven six five four three two and one there we go awesome stuff guys so that brings us to the end of the workout i will see you all in the cool down There you have it everyone so now we're gonna bring our heart rates down a lot okay so what I want you to do stand hip no more than hip width apart so you really want to have your legs out and go down and up okay down and up so Release your breath as you come up and down. Bring in that breath, up, out. There we go. All right. So what I want you to do now is again, keep your legs in the same position. Go down and to the side. Okay, so I want you to really stretch it out. You want to feel this in your side muscle, in your oblique muscle, guys. And let's go down and up. Okay, so staying in this low squat. If this is too much for you, you can come up and go to the side like you normally would. All right. 
So still in that low squat, I want you to stretch out your back. So you're gonna feel that stretch into your shoulder blade and down as you go. Come up and push it. All right, so you really wanna feel that muscle. You wanna feel the stretch. Okay, and with this one, let's go up and down. Okay, so you wanna hollow out your back and you wanna bring it to the front. Working on that legs as well. If you don't have the mobility, that's okay. You can do this on a chair as well. You can do it with some support if you need any. Hold on to a chair and do this. Okay, but if you're a young person, you should not have a trouble doing this, but I mean, you can always work your way up towards becoming a better you. All right, we're all not great at stuff, we just get better at them. And let's bring up our legs, stretch out our quadriceps, let's go. If you need the support, you can hold on to something, hold on to a wall, hold on to a friend, or hold on to a chair. If you don't have friends working out with you, okay? There we go, Have the leg real quick. So just basic stretches, guys. We also wanna stretch the parts that we didn't normally use, that we didn't use a lot, because we're gonna use them throughout the rest of the day. And I'm sure your fingers, your wrists, they do a lot of work, even when you're not noticing it. Let's just go down real quick. Sit down as you go, and I want you to stretch that lower back, go into a butterfly pose and just stretch it, bring up your shoulders and hold it there. Just keep it there for a while. Don't enjoy it, you don't have to stay there for too long. Okay, and there we go. We really wanna work on our lower back. Stretch that lower back, guys. Stretch it out as much as you can if that's the first thing you do in the morning, go right ahead and do it. We need that mobility and sometimes we don't appreciate our bodies enough and we don't let it move. Whenever you're doing anything, just stretch it out first. If you're not gonna do a workout, still stretch. And that will be a movement for the day. Okay. Let's hold it there for a few seconds and then come up again. And you can just sit here for a while if you have nothing else to do. You don't normally have to just rush into your day. You can take a breather after your workout if you have the time. If you don't have the time, wake up early and make the time for you. I know it can be difficult. I mean, I don't do it all the time, guys. But we have to remember that we have a whole body to look after. And if we don't do it, who will do it for us? But that brings us to the end of today's workout. I hope you guys join me again next time. And thank you so much if you join me today. And let's be the best of us that we can be. That is it from me, Jeanette Dierkart, and from the Flex Studio. I will see you all again next time.